Now here's a reason why I don't like The View. And I haven't talked about them in a long time leading up to this week. I've done a few videos of them on how they're similar to CNN. And it's in conjunction with the other stuff that I posted about, about the blacklists. Black lists. And it's stuff like Joy Behar always assuming Trump is racist. Full blown believes in the Russia conspiracy. Applauded when she thought there was collusion. Always on about the white supremacy stuff. It never really ends with Joy. But they're always going on the false pretenses. And here's a small example that I think we can extrapolate a lot from. Supporters giving money. So they're calling it a blacklist. They should call it a white list, first of all. <laughs> it's not a blacklist. It's a white list. But I happen to be against... <laughs> Isn't she charming, you guys? Isn't she just so charming? It's white people. It's like a chant. What are you doing? It's bullshit. <laughs> I don't like the view because of reasons like this, because almost everything exclusively is worked off of false pretenses. Like this haha only white white people support support Trump stuff. It gets to be way too much, even for daytime talk show TVs, because they have no idea what they're talking about. It's really sad. However, sorry to point it out to you, Joy, but the first of all, who names her child Joy? She's not joyful at all. The numbers show otherwise. Cite a recent National Review article from just a couple weeks ago saying this. What concerns progressives is that, that despite the relentless rhetorical assault, Trump's approval ratings among black voters appear to range between 18 to 34 percent. Among Hispanics, that number can reach the 40s. And the rest of that quote is, if you want to read it, go ahead. It's sarcasm. You can tell if you read the whole article. Not worth repeating. And then back to quote, a Democrat presidential candidate needs to get approximately 85 to 95 percent of the black vote to have a chance of winning. Now, me, Andrew speaking, I've always heard it's about 85 percent. That's just me. I've heard as low as 80, but I think it's right around 85 percent. Most people agree is what Democrats run on. They're used to having at least 85 percent of the black vote. So if they lose a significant portion of that, then they're probably going to lose. Back to the quote, according to the Roper Center data, in the last eight presidential elections, the black vote was cast as follows. And you can read Bush, 10 and 10 percent. Bob Dole, remember Bob Dole, you guys, who's on The Simpsons, 12 percent. George W, 9 and 11 percent. Cut back to me. Coincidence? Is it? John McCain, 4 percent. LOL. Mitt Romney, 6, which is kind of weird because he's a Mormon. And Trump, 8 percent. All the Dems, as you can see, at least 83 percent dating back to, what's that, the late 80s. So it basically fits the narrative. And then if we look at, look at a recent Rasmussen poll for black support for Trump, still polls, remember, we know the American polls lie, but Rasmussen has been pretty good over the last couple of years, you gotta say, uh, they've been pretty accurate. It's hovering around 30%, up five or 6% from last year. And if this is even, is even half true, 15 to 20% support, it's game over. It's the biggest black vote for a Republican in, what, 30 years in my lifetime. Since I'm 21, you guys, somebody asked if I'm 21. Listen, if you think I'm 21, then thank you. I'm actually 19. So just throwing that out there. Now, why is that? Why would so many people support the white supremacist Trump? Um, black unemployment, lowest ever. Wages are up. Uh, black business ownership is up significantly, as far as I know. He's giving billions to historically black colleges and universities in black communities. It's something like five times more than Obama. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not reading this. I think it's four billion from Obama and about 25 billion from Trump to rebuild communities and give to historically black colleges. He's exposing the corruption in places like Baltimore, where I don't know if you know this black uh, city council members, black congressmen, black police force, that sort of stuff being forgotten about. Terrible situation. It's obviously one of the worst places to live unless you like defensive football. But he's exposing the corruption in those places by calling it the politicians. This is why people are voting for him. Now, if you look at the 8% of black people in America that voted for him in 2016, doubling that doesn't just seem plausible. It seems more than realistic. It seems likely in my humblest of opinions, which is not really humble. That's just reality though. And I'm not a crazy Trump person. In my opinion, there's more to complain about him now than there was when he got elected for reasons that might be simple, reasons that might be not so simple. So I'm not waving his flag while I'm going down the street. I'm not waving anyone's flag really. 
maybe my country's flag or a sports team. Or maybe I'll wave a flag for Tommy Lauren if she asks me, put her up. There's a different girl now that walked. Actually, side note, you heard of Wake Up With Linda. Put her on the screen now. Check her out. Interesting stuff. Vaccination stuff, if you want to get into that. Vax vaxing might be a Republican version of Flat Earth. Look into it. No, wait. Eddie Bravo doesn't sound like Alex Jones. Just look into it, bro. That's all I'm asking. The globalists and the Flat Earths. No, Alex Jones doesn't even believe in Flat Earth, you guys. How can there be globalists without a globe? I don't know. You tell me how there's a globe, Alex. So, by the way, that Tommy Lahren photo is titled Tommy Lahren's Feet, you weirdos. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get the feet stuff. But anyway, when you're comparing Trump to Trump, then I have things to complain about. But if you're comparing him to essentially the communism that's taken over the DNC and winning over the hearts and mind of, minds of all 10% of the people in America that agree with that, gun confiscation, extreme taxes, the Green New Deal, all now the spearhead of the DNC and what they're going crazy for. It's funny because like four years ago, they said that could never be happening. You're crazy if you think the Democrats want to take all your guns and raise the hell out of your taxes. And now that's exactly what they're saying. And really pretty much their platform, Beto, and they all just felt fall in line with whatever the with that whatever Twitter check <laughs> check mark police tells them to fall in line with. Can't upset the blue check marks. They're running society. They're the evil elf-like people that are doing LSD in Atahuasca and learning what to do with society and future humans and joining up with robots and leading the space brigade out. That's what's actually happening. So I'm not sure about you, but this whole super socialist gun control lobby that the Democrats are running, I don't think it's big on black people's minds. I think fixing communities, jobs, stuff like that is, uh, is higher up on their totem pole. And it's not that this uh, take my guns and all my money and force me to do government jobs like the Green New Deal suggests. I'm not sure I'm seeing those themes in rap music these days. <laughs> not in black comedies, not in black stand up, not in majority black movies like Eddie Murphy's coming out with a bunch of movies now all of a sudden. A couple of them look pretty good. Not seeing those themes. In fact, the new Eddie Murphy is about getting black people to be accepted in entertainment in like. What I don't know if it was the 60s or the 50s or what. It wasn't about confiscating their guns and, and taxing them. Unless I missed that Kevin Gates song. Unless I missed that. He did have a song about making America trap again, which certainly is not promoting confiscation of guns or buybacks, if you will. Or maybe I missed the 21 Savage song called Take All My Money and Guns featuring Post Malone. You got to throw Post Malone in there, do the do the vibrato with his voice. Maybe that just went to number one and I missed it. Why are black people voting for Trump or at least supporting him? We haven't got to the vote yet. Why are they supporting him in historical numbers for Republican Party? Because he's actually doing things to help their community as opposed to just being like, let's all be divided and uh, believe everybody's racist. That's all. <laughs>